morning friends <coughs> so we are starting our very important topic which is directors so uh, put the heading directors appointment qualifications <coughs> directors appointment qualification first write the dictation notes okay then you can underline from the book i will also take the book and i will read for you you can underline from the book first section is section 149 section number wherever i tell whenever i tell subsection number that means it is important if i didn't tell subsection number it is not important okay <clears throat> so 149 subsection 1 see uh, you can first write a flow chart okay first draft a flow chart then we can go in detail okay so subsection 1 means you put in the left corner okay and i whenever i say you just drop down arrow mark from the flow chart like that first is minimum uh, first is who can be director who can be director the first down arrow mark is who can be director and drop down the second down arrow mark how many directors who can be director how many directors okay then third resident director then woman director resident director then woman director <laughs> then independent director okay so how many directors who can be directors this is subsection 1 woman director subsection 1 proviso then resident director subsection 3 independent director subsection 4 so this is the synopsis of this section okay so in by studying this section we will be thorough with these areas so maximum questions if it if at all they ask they can ask from only these points from this section so whenever we study a section we have to study in two point one from exam point what maximum questions can be asked from this section second knowledge point when we practically do an audit what are the points we should understand by this section from this section okay so first who can become director that is the first question only an individual can become director who can become director only an individual can become director body corporate can be a member one company can be a holding company or a subsidiary company uh, that means a member of a subsidiary company is the holding company right that means a body corporate can become the member but body corporate cannot become a director so only individual can become director understood point number 1 so right only an individual can become director okay when you write notes carry two pens also okay use black as your regular and blue for important points okay because we have to write our examination in black pen so use black as regular and blue for important points okay so you yourself should know what is the important point when i say as a point 
so individual that word you should write in blue pen understood so only an individual can become director second so what is the second point I, I, I told you like how many how many directors sir own company how many directors they can have minimum maximum so you have to put two column in fact you have to put three column the first column is particular that is the type of company one person company one person company small company or like a private company you don't write to split the small company private company you write private company then public company minimum director for one person company is one minimum director for private company is two minimum director for public company is three okay maximum director for all the three companies it is 15 maximum director for all the three companies is 15 then you can ask me on doubt sir one person company how can there be 15 directors <coughs> one person company the minimum criteria only reduced from two to one but the maximum criteria that means one person company can also have board of directors one person company can also have board of directors can you able to understand so this is the point next sir my company is very big company reliance industries we, we are very big can we increase our director beyond 15 yes it is possible to increase the director beyond 15 how by passing a special resolution we can increase the number of directors beyond 15 but there are exceptions for government company and section 8 company you need not pass this resolution to increase the number of directors beyond 15 okay so for which two companies it is not necessary for government company and section 8 company so if you want to increase the number of directors beyond 15 you have to pass special resolution but which two companies are exempted government companies and section 8 companies are exempted okay next Anama. exempted from passing special resolution that means by passing even ordinary resolution even by board resolution they are increasing but i will tell you the problem is not in this section the problem is somewhere else i will tell you that after writing this you please okay the problem in number of directors it is not only in section 149 it is there in articles of association some companies articles of association has already barred the maximum number of directors they already limited so if you want to increase the number of directors beyond the articles of association what you should do <laughs> amend the articles of association so amending the articles of association is section 14 there you have to pass special resolution Purunjita, can you able to understand so it's not only because of this section it is also because of articles of association if i have to amend the articles of association i have to pass special resolution okay right we are in still subsection one please remember we are in still subsection one and we are understanding practically also it is not there in this section amending the articles is nowhere is there in this section this is a knowledge sake so when you write the examination you should prove you are not the mati mugging up okay if you write articles of should be amended you will be like wow this guy is brilliant because it is not there in this section so whenever you try to write the answer you should link it with some other section and you have practically seen this like that you should prove okay and if there is some question 
you cannot elaborate more than three lines already answer is over try to write a resolution for example in auditing you will write yes we have to give a modified opinion we have to give a qualified opinion over answer is over but no mark unless otherwise you write a model opinion or model opinion you should write appo dhan they will give mark okay and mari try to prove your knowledge to our examiners mukmelar you should like wow when you correct your paper your paper should become a model paper to correct other paper neat legible enough line space word space per line or line la how many words you have to write depends on your font size correct ah so all this you should decide how many words per line if my handwriting is not good i will write only 5 words per line if your handwriting is so good you can write 6 words per line some people font size is so small they can write even 7 words per line okay some people font size is so big they cannot write more than 4 words per line idella you should keep in your mind legible neat see showcasing your brilliance is more important correct but you should see your brilliance you should it should not go waste your brilliance if you have should showcase and it should be noted if it goes waste waste the flow uh, sir i have knowledge you prove it okay then point next so when the question is on increasing of directors so the mcq can be there how many directors a company can have how many directors one person company can have okay you will put 1 2 3 and 15 what is your answer 15 is your answer okay see he will confuse you with 1 and 15 how many if it is open question then you should go for maximum can you able to un- understand okay yesterday i saw icis draft mcq for five pages superb questions it's not easy i'm telling you mcqs are not going to be easy but a person who doesn't know law also can get 20 marks or 10 marks 15 marks because as per the probability theory b will be the answer you have you seen this as per the probability theory b will be the answer if you don't know an answer it should be b and 30 marks la if i put b for everything at least 10 to 12 b's will be there ha huh. so even an ip student can write ca final by just marking b for everything I don't know whether they are going to ask you to justify your answer. If I am an examiner, I will ask to justify. Yeah, that is the right thing, ra. Okay, I will give the answer itself in my MCQ. You please justify, and I will ask you why you have chosen this answer. Sometimes you know the right answer in description type, but when it come to MCQ, it won't work. for example i have seen one question a valuer has been appointed without the qualification till what time he can continue to value this is the question the answer is 2018 as well as 2019 because initially it was 2018 september later it got amended to 2019 january so there is two answer for my question So, if I am a descriptive type person, I will write answer, sir. When the section is coined, thirty one three two thousand eighteen is the last date before which chartered accountants or any other professional should write the valuation examination conducted by IBBI. Okay, but our people forgot mathematics, forgot SFM, and they should have experience in valuation also. correct see we people are also doing business valuation share valuation intrinsic valuation whenever there is a allotment of share capital at premium 
the people are valuing actually in your firm also they would have valued something allotment of share capital at premium see at least one company in your office would have allotted shares last year at least at premium okay discounted free cash flow any one of you would have done okay or future projection would have been done based on that you would have valued and if you are not a registered valuer under section 247 okay you cannot do valuation of the company and you should have passed this examination before 31 3 2018 as per that section but few people have not written that so there is no registered value available in the market they extended 39 maximum time 39 over they told hey itr file i am filing itr they extend they extended to january 19 so what is my answer my answer is 18 but 2019 is also correct 2018 is also correct so this i can prove only it is in the descriptive type but if it is mcq type how can i prove my knowledge understood so mcq will become more dangerous but it is easy for the person who doesn't know anything can you able to understand okay come back 149 subsection 1 has a proviso what is the proviso woman directors Oi, oi, oi. If you keep on going back, I have to shout more. <coughs> Woman Darren. <coughs> now, applicability of Woman Director. First, applicability of Woman Director. 200 flow chart. 200 flow chart. The first hand is listed company. The second hand is public company having paid up capital 100 crores or more or turnover 300 crores or more. 100 crores or more or turnover 300 crores or more listed company come on everyone listed company mandatory public company having paid up capital 100 crores or more or turnover 300 crores or or at the box box the word or okay if there is a vacancy in woman director for example i appointed a woman she is in the board so every company should have one woman director means like in this criteria not every company means every company in this criteria company so we appointed a woman director she resigned the office if she resigned the office within what time i should reappoint or appoint or fill the vacancy within what time i should fill the vacancy they have told within three months or the next board meeting, whichever is later. Come on, tell me. Three months or next board meeting, whichever is later. later put a box because in many cases whichever is earlier will come generally so since it is later you should put a box next See, it is not necessary for the woman director to be an independent director. Even promoter's director can also be woman director. It is not necessary to be an independent director. You know something? Alternate director for a woman director need not be compulsorily woman director. So, for example, a woman director who's, who goes abroad and she is not expected to return within three months generally the company will appoint alternate director 
alternate director for a woman director need not be woman but the act says alternate director for independent director should be independent director understood alternate director for woman director need not be woman idella little drafting error i can say or lacuna in the act which we can make use of next see it was reported previously that women are not coming forward to take up the directorships when communist actors and that introduced in 2014 they got introduced they told sir they are not ready to take this risk abhi sunanga but they thought like it will change they will remove the section central government didn't remove the section they told it should be there next <coughs> i will tell you this is somewhere else but i am just saying let's say if a person is going abroad if he is not going to return it is section 161 i just told you see it's like a short time replacement or not replacement for them on behalf of them like that okay on your place somebody will sit for a short time next so with this we completed section 149 subsection 1 we will go to 149 subsection 3 resident director every company every company every company shall appoint at least one resident individual as their director every company shall appoint at least one resident individual as their director that means your company can be a fdi company foreign direct investment company it can be a subsidiary of a foreign company but at least one director in your company should be a resident okay next 1494 Say who is what is resident? He should be stayed in India for a period of not less than one eighty two days in the financial year. Previously it was calendar year. Now it changed to financial year. Okay, I'll tell you. In income tax, it is previous year. in company is acted as financial year can you able to understand ma come and sit friend Can we go next? Okay. Okay. Then I need to check. Section one forty nine four, independent director. Applicability. applicability listen very carefully if you understand this threshold limit you can write four answers because mini section has the same threshold limits listed company mandatory public company having paid up capital 10 crores or more paid up capital 10 crores turnover 100 crores or more turnover or or lma or condition paid up capital 10 crores or more or turnover 100 crores or more or loans borrowings debentures deposits from public okay exceeding 50 crores 
public includes bank loans from banks loans borrowings debentures deposits from public exceeds 50 crores 1050 okay first one paid of capital then turnover then lbdd lbdd loans borrowing debentures deposit okay 10 50 10 150 that is 50 is exceeding 50 loans alone exceeding okay right yeah for this public company listed company mandatory they should appoint independent director okay done okay sir how many independent director has to be appointed how many for listed company it is one third for public company it is minimum two for listed company it is one third that means out of my total number of director say 15 directors are there one third is how much five five should be independent director so today should see the annual report of a listed company say reliance go and download the annual report and see the composition of the directors they would have given in the annual report at least the 33 percentage should be independent director but we already studied or we should have studied in lodr Sometimes it is 33 percentage and sometimes it is 50 percentage <coughs> due to the chairman. If the chairman is a whole time or part time, is a promoter chairman or is an independent chairman, etc. So I guess in Reliance kind of company where the promoter chairman is there, the independent director should be 50 percentage. So you should go and see the Reliance Industries annual return today. So this is your homework. Okay, learn everything practically. Then you just Google LODR because I told LODR it is there in your auditing, okay, in corporate governance and new syllabus SEBI. So I will be taking you LODR, but at a later point of time, maybe in the month of December end or January. But if you want to understand now practically, you should Google it. Okay, composition of director, what is the rules in LODR? LODR means listing obligation disclosure requirements. So yeah, listing obligation, every listed company should have this kind of. So as per the company side, it is only one third. But corporate governance, they are telling something else. Okay, keep this in mind. Next we'll go. For uh, public company, it is minimum two. Sir, who is said to be independent? What is his quality? A person is said to be independent. He should be not a relative of a promoter. He should not be a promoter. He should not be a relative of a promoter. Should not be a KMP. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Once again, I will just tell you, then you will write. He should not be a promoter or relative of a promoter. Should not be KMP. Okay? He should not be a KMP or his relative. Okay? Then they are telling, he should not hold any pecuniary interest should not hold any pecuniary interest his relative should also not hold the pecuniary interest his relative should not also hold the pecuniary interest and they have defined what is pecuniary interest okay they should not hold this much number of shares face value percentage they should not be indebted to the company so much they should not have got remuneration from the company Okay, that is a monetary interest. Pecuniary interest is nothing but a monetary interest. So, if my relative is having a monetary interest and if he appoints me as independent director, then he will get a favor. So, that too should not happen. He cannot be a KMP, but he can be an employee. That means he is not influencing me. He is a normal employee, clerk level or normal manager position level. He is not there. Decision making level, he is not there. So, independence should not be affected. He should not be a promoter, 
रिलेटिव ऑफ प्रमोटर के एम पी रिलेटिव ऑफ के एम पी और रिलेटिव ऑफ अ डायरेक्टर ऑल्सो बट इज रिलेटिव कैन बी एन एम्प्लॉय ओके ही शुड नॉट बी हैविंग पेक्यूनरी इंटरेस्ट इज रिलेटिव शुड ऑल्सो हैव पेक्यूनरी इंटरेस्ट शुड नॉट हैव पेक्यूनरी इंटरेस्ट ओके ऑडिटर्स ऑडिटर्स दट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑडिटर द कंपनी इज ऑडिटर ही इज इंडिपेंडेंट पर्सन कैन ही अपॉइंट इज पार्टनर और इज एग्जीक्यूटिव लाइक देयर पीपल कैन बी नो ऑडिटर्स रिलेटिव एंड देयर असोसिएट्स कैनॉट बिकम इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी ओके कैन अ लीगल काउंसिल बिकॉज एवरी कंपनी Every company should have a legal counsel. I will give you time. I will dictate. You can copy. Now you listen because I am connecting something. Okay. Legal executives, that is legal counsel of a company, they are also like an auditor. They are outside the company, not so. But legal executives, legal counsel of the company can become independent director, provided. the turnover which they receive from this company is not exceeding 10% of their total turnover that means with or without your turnover i can survive okay so the legal counsel have to prove that they can survive with or without this company if they proved that then okay can you able to understand okay so the next point ceo of a non profit organization the non profit organization if they received more than 25 percentage of their total receipts from this company plus their directors plus the shareholders holding more than 2 percentage shares in this company if from this team if they received more than 25 percent of the total receipts then the ceo of that ngo that is non profit organization cannot become the independent director of this company can you able to understand so they are trying to make sure this company's independent director is not influenced in any way okay and so you cannot just like that put some person here he should have expert knowledge in the field of finance accounts administration marketing selling so xyz person tom dick and harry you cannot appoint as independent director you should justify and this appointment should be there ratified by the general meeting see board can appoint him immediately but it should be ratified in the general meeting and once he appointed he is appointed for a period of 5 years he can be appointed it's not necessary that he should be he can be appointed for a period of 5 years okay so there is lot of restriction in finding on independent director you should be expert you should be independent in all respects okay and for this person what kind of remuneration you can give him he should not be influenced by the remuneration also he should not be influenced by remuneration also she should not he should be like a sanyasi basically okay if you keep on giving him monthly remuneration then he want to do some favor for the company he can get remuneration in three ways it should not be a regular way number 1 whenever he come for a meeting okay because he should attend the meeting he can get sitting fees second he comes and goes so reimbursement of expenses third year end la if the company is having a profit then they can get profit linked commission but it is not fixed percentage if you read this section there is nowhere given what is the maximum sitting fees what is the maximum percentage linked commission you can give him you have to go back to your ipcc account syllabus managerial remuneration chapter there they have given sitting fees 
maximum 1 lakh per director per sitting profit linked commission is 3 percentage 5 percentage 11 percentage 6 percentage they have given some percentage then the maximum slab is 11 percentage so including the independent director other director managing director put together the overall should not cross 11 percentage you can fix the independent director remuneration within that limit can you able to understand so it is not necessary that independent director should get a fixed limit the director can fix the limit but it should not cross the overall limits now by this time you would have forgot the qualification point now you tell me qualification point you should be expert in the field of finance accounts administration marketing selling independence he should not be promoter relative of promoter kmp relative of kmp relative of director but he can be relative of an employee okay then he should not hold any pecuniary interest he should not his relative should not hold pecuniary interest legal counsel okay provided their remuneration is not their remuneration has not exceeded 10 percentage of their total turnover ceo of a npo if the npo received more than 25 percentage of the total receipts from the company employees in that shareholders holding more than two percentage directors okay come on right what you will write first who is said to be independent a person who is not one two three four fast yes legal counsel is a legal person legal what is counsel counsel means a group of people okay so from that group of legal people can they be see I, I have a firm as my legal counsel can the partner of the firm be independent actor in my company yes provided my contribution to their turnover is not crossing 10 percent of their total turnover Can we go further, fast? Pecuniary interest means monetary interest, okay? Monetary interest come by way of remuneration, shareholding, transactions like sale and supply of goods and services. This pecuniary interest point it is amended recently. So we should study from our book more specifically this point. If at all they are going to ask commandment questions, 
okay they won't ask commandment question immediately okay because our books itself doesn't have amendments properly see ICA material at least one time before the examination you should see all the pages I am not telling you you should understand read line by line etc at least you should know what is there in ICA material next can we move further fast see you all the acha then who can become what is his quality write that point what is the qualities you should be expert in the field of done huh next what is the remuneration remuneration three types sitting fees reimbursement of expenses profit linked commission sitting fees down arrow mark 1 lakh per sitting that is maximum Okay, 1 lakh per sitting per director. Reimbursement of expenses, actual. Profit link commission, overall should not cross 11 percentage including independent director. So, it is not 1 percentage or 2 percent or 3 percent for the independent director. It's not like that. The overall should not cross this percentage. So let us revise. Okay. Let us revise. <coughs> Independent director should not be promoter, KMP, or their relatives. Second, they should not hold any pecuniary interest then the auditors cannot be independent directors legal counsel can be but their remuneration should not exceed 10 percentage from this company ceo of the ngo cannot be if the receipts cross 25 percentage this independent director shall be experts in various fields <clears throat> the remuneration is in this three ways only appointment how many years you have to appoint them up to five years one independent director can be appointed for maximum period of five years Why, why, why? Write in a set. new page. Real the nepo. Last render in a gap on no. So, if I if I appoint independent director, I have to pass an ordinary resolution in the general meeting. If board appointed, it should get ratified. So I appointed independent director. 
I appointed him for a period of say three years. Imagine. He can also be reappointed. He can also be reappointed. Reappointment within a uh, certain reappointment can be done up to maximum of another five years. But as per the section, you cannot appoint an independent director more than two terms of five years. Okay. Or more than two consecutive terms without a gap of three years. That means, like auditor's cooling period, independent directors also having cooling period of three years. Auditor's cooling period is five years, independent directors' cooling period is three years. Can you able to understand? Right. Sir, two terms of five years. I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. There is a point there which we should study okay we can appoint an independent director for a period of five years we can reappoint him for another period of five years but after the two consecutive term he cannot be reappointed without a cooling period of three years this is the point now people can have a doubt sir five plus five or two consecutive term this is what your doubt correct huh? because i can appoint three plus three plus three so that means three consecutive terms but within 10 years so the overall period is not 5 plus 5 it is two consecutive term can you able to understand that means like auditors the word used is dash to appoint the auditors five years is i told you once at 139 subsection 1 5 years is what? Shall. 139 subsection 1 says shall. That means you cannot appoint the auditors for less than 5 years. So it is not the option available with the shareholder to appoint the auditor for 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, etc. If you are appointing an auditor, he should be appointed for a period of 5 years. Our IPC portion, we doesn't know this level of interpretation. This is called you know which which interpretation it is no no literal interpretation is not or and see you have so much of interpretation literal interpretation reasonable construction harmonious construction exceptional okay that is like and or this kind of construction, then uh, adjustum generous construction. Okay, so you have this kind of construction. Okay, beneficial construction. Okay, this kind of beneficial construction is only that 54 EC, 50 lakhs within six months, one year, one financial year, 50 lakhs. Okay, that kind of people have interpreted no previously. Almari. So. Now come back. So, an independent director can be appointed for a period of five years. He can be reappointed for a period of another five years. But he cannot be reappointed for more than two consecutive terms. Okay, without a cooling period of three years. So, it is not five plus five. It is two consecutive terms for the cooling period. So, 3 plus 3 is also over. He should go for a mandatory cooling period of 3 years. Next, if there is a vacancy in independent director, if there is a vacancy in independent director, it should be filled within 3 months. <clears throat> Sir, whether independent director is liable for all acts or all resolution taken in the board? Whether independent director is liable for the activities of the board? The answer is partially yes and no. Okay, for example, in the board meeting, a resolution is passed. 
where he is present and given consent he is liable if he has not given his consent in that meeting or if he is absent in that meeting resolution he is not liable so if you know something is going to happen and it is not within your power you cannot say no to it etc you are under pressure what you should do absent yourself okay but you know something this kind of meetings will happen in a shorter notice something extraordinary things they are going to do for example removal of silas mystery the removal of silas mystery silas mystery in tata they didn't give proper notice as per section 173 if the notice is not a proper notice okay time period is not given agenda is not a, if independent director mandatorily should attend the meeting if the independent director is given consent then he is liable so silas mystery is suing for operation mismanagement they can also sue the independent director who have taken the resolution okay and the mari so you should understand something practically you should read it's not necessary that you should read every day's newspaper idella konja popular news correct ah cyrus mystery news and all popular news you cannot say who is cyrus mystery only i know history okay this mystery is so so mystery okay evlo simika si idu or romba popular ana or case okay and the time la tata shares alla it's what like up and down etc then now chandrashekar got appointed mr chandrashekar so previously tata had a chairman promoters based chairman ratan tata cyrus mystery is also promoter based chairman you know he is a largest investor in tata mystery group shapur ji polon ji group so you should know tata's history tata got investment from shapur ji polon ji way back before independence itself and they hold approximately 20% share in tata single largest shareholder cyrus mystery he even is having more than tata share ratan tata oda he is having more share his family okay shapur ji polon ji family <coughs> because that time tata steel and hydro were in losses after that world war 2 etc they are in loss so that time shapur ji polon ji invested in tata sons and he got like approximately 20 percent equity share 19 point something percent equity shares whereby but shapur ji polon ji that is father and grandfather never intervened in the company but the grandson got appointed as chairman of the group tata group itself since ratan tata doesn't have an heir idella vandu you should know should know means newspaper newspaper some news short news will be there no 140 lines 120 words news adala you will be learning all these things because this case is still in tribunal that whether the removal is valid or not it's a landmark judgment because as per section 244 read with 241 of the companies act which we will be studying in mid of december a person can go for oppression mismanagement in front of tribunal only if he is having 10% share 10% of issued share capital if he is having he can go before the tribunal and ask for claim of oppression mismanagement against other people cyrus mystery case he is having approximately 20% that means it's already 10% but nclt rejected cyrus mystery's claim stating your share holding is not enough to claim oppression mismanagement we got shocked then after reading the judgment we read further in detail the word given is issued share capital and not equity share capital tata has so much of preference share capital okay so if you take preference plus equity then you compare equity of the cyrus mystery it is not even 2% just imagine how they organized it 
बट देर इज अ पॉइंट इन दट सेक्शन इफ ट्रिब्यूनल थिंक्स फिट इट कैन एनकरेज अ पर्सन हु इज हैविंग लेस देन टेन परसेंटेज शेयर्स टू कम फॉर अपील सो इवेंट फॉर एन सी एल ए टी अपल ट्रिब्यूनल एंड ई गॉट इज पिटिशन अप्रूव सो नो दे आर स्क्रूटिंग whether two years back operation happened or not is it on law it on the word or on the issued abindra word or importance if you read as a self study person you will never understand the difference between issued and equity there is a definition you all know holding company definition okay holding company for example a limited they have 51% share capital in b limited say b limited is the subsidiary company a limited is a holding company now if i hold more than 50% of the total share capital i am the holding company this is what the definition says you know i don't know whether you know or not If I hold more than fifty percentage total share capital, I'll be holding company. This is what the definition of holding company as per the Company Act two thousand thirteen. Now ask this question: preference share capital plus equity share capital, or only equity share capital? So if the company is having one crore rupees preference capital and each share is ten rupees. and they have only 1 lakh rupees equity capital 1 crore preference capital 1 lakh equity capital 1 lakh la 45 percentage is held by mr y only other shareholders are having less than 10 percentage 15 percentage but preference capital almost entirety is held by one company now the promoter thinks he is having 45% share he is having the controlling interest in the company but the company is getting consolidated with another company because they are controlling the total share capital of the company it becomes holding company of this company if there is a lacuna in framing the section it should be voting power it should not be share capital based If you give voting power, then only equity share capital has the voting power. If you give share capital, then preference capital is also a contract share capital. So the voting to be changed as sir capital should be changed as voting. After four years of companies act, they changed it. After four years, okay, sir, I don't know holding company definition. Okay, we have never seen a holding company at all in my office. Okay, leave it. I will ask you a turnover definition. What is turnover? Sales part of being like everyone have audited the sales. What is sales? That is turnover as per the company act. Gross realization from the sale and supply of goods and services and materials. Ida. Gross realization. That means if I made one crore rupees of sales in the month of March. Which I receive in the month of April. What is my turnover in the month of March? Zero. Because I have not realized even one rupee from my sales, so the turnover is zero. This is what Section Two, Subsection Ninety One says. Company Act Two Thousand Thirteen. This is there in your IPCC. My IPCC students will tell the section, subsection of two also. Definition section la oru or subsection they will tell. At least thirty five sections they will tell subsection. Okay, but other students they will never know section. They will know in they will never know intricacies of the section. Oru or section or intricacies irk. All no changes in the company's act two thousand seventeen because they had so many mistakes in the company's act two thousand thirteen. Okay, and as per the presumption of interpretation of statutes. Legislature will make no mistake. This is the presumption. It's like in your physics definition, everything remains constant. Anything, ah, huh? ये दानु constant आ रखा है, 
nothing will remain so as per the physics everything will remain. like that presumption of the interpretation of law is legislature make no mistake adre illama see 100 days 200 amendments in gst correct 100 days 200 amendments more than two amendments per day that means how many mistakes are there in gst like that companies act also have so many mistakes approximately 90 section got amended out of 470 section 90 amendments they introduced in companies act 2013 by way of amendment act 2017 this is not the first amendment act 2015 also they had amendment act this is the second time amending okay leave the amendment act 2017 you know amendment ordinance passed in november 2018 still not okay still not okay amendment amendment because they came to know there are so many lacunas in the act should keep on updating our knowledge first we people should understand the lacuna and we should tell maybe in few years down the line they will make an amendment we people we told all these things two three years back like there are certain areas where it should be changed otherwise the entire understanding of the company act will go for a toss so that company became the holding company which only invested for the preference share capital when a bank take over a company because the company has not served the principal they convert the loan into share capital and they take over the company whether they should consolidate that becomes a question as per the companies act it says yes but as per accounting share it is no confusion is there still there is no answer for this confusion there is one question in auditing audit of consolidated financial statement there is one chapter in auditing it says you should consolidate as per schedule 3 but not as per the accounting standards because this is a stock in trade for the company banking company okay they may use surfaci act for which you should know what is surfaci act and they can sell it or if the company is not having any underlying asset there is no future economic benefits from this company hence as per as21 you need not consolidate okay so when it is stock and trade you need not consolidate when there is no future economic benefit going to come from this company you need not consolidate but as per section 129 redwood schedule 3 you should consolidate so at least you should give a statement about your company subsidiary company you did not consolidate the accounts you should give at least a statement this is what the final opinion from learned people see tomorrow you may be auditing a company which had a loan from a bank where the bank has converted the loan into share capital where they are asking this question to you and you are CA finalist and next four months later you can become a charter accountant also okay at that point of time you cannot say sir I'm a student sir see that moment you passed the burden to you is heavy you cannot say sir yesterday only I passed no how you can think that I am a charter accountant you are charter accountant yesterday you worth yesterday you are worth 50,000 rupees per annum today you worth 8 lakh rupees per annum over a day over a minute changed your life if you failed again you are worth 50,000 rupees only if you passed you worth like say 10 15 times more than what you are earning yesterday and the moment you see that blue color screen or pink color screen pass the burden is more now jalia you can uh, you can say student i'm yet learning i don't know you cannot tell this in future you should know engendoru nithyananda knowledge tha diksha to not come like that you should learn you should learn you should grab the knowledge like that's why i'm telling you go and read ipcc portion one more time because you are not 
read the way it should be read. Now you have time if you start reading the definitions etc from IPCC level because the definition is very important when you are interpreting. One word, word ke, you need a definition. What is related party? For example, <coughs> Mr. M. K. is having one wife and he is having one girlfriend. And girlfriend is also having child and his wife is also having child. His girlfriend child is also calling him as father. His wife's child is also calling him as father. The wife's child and the girl's friend's child, what is the relation between these two? <laughs> so, his girlfriend can be called as concubine or mistress. It is there in your India, yes. Concubine. If she is only with him. Okay, if she is with some other person also, then it is mistress. Okay, concubine is a relative, mistress is not a relative. As per India is, concubine is a relative, mistress is not a relative. I am not telling. India is telling, but it is not there in Companies Act. Companies Act has something which is not in accounting standards. Accounting standard has something which is not there in Companies Act. So when you do related party transaction, because you should know this transaction, this is a bigger transaction. Because tomorrow, the son of MK becomes the chief minister and daughter of MK's girlfriend becomes deputy chief minister. You should know. These people are also having companies. They are making 1000 crore turnovers. They are running so many organizations. Okay. You may be an auditor of this organization. These are open secret. There may be closed secret so many places. And 1000 crores na net worth also will be more. India's will be applicable. And whether they will allow you to disclose the girlfriend name as concubine. Next, come back. <clears throat> so, whether the independent director is liable for the activities of that board, if he has given consent, if he has given consent, he is liable. Sir, my company doesn't find a person who is fit as independent director in our company from our known sources. We have some known sources. We didn't find okay, a fit person to our office as independent director. What to do? Don't worry. Go to section 151. Sorry, 150. Go to section 150. Central government is going to provide you a database. Central government is going to provide you a database from where you can choose your director. So go to central government database. 150 central government's database for independent director. Done. So 150 is nothing but what? Database of independent director. Hmm? Next. One fifty one small shareholders director. One fifty one small shareholders director. See now, I will tell you some knowledge questions. See, how many schedules are there in Companies Act? From your IPC syllabus. Okay, this is not from your final syllabus, from your IPC syllabus. How many schedules are there in Companies Act? 
How many sections are there in Companies Act? 470 sections are there in Companies Act. How many schedules are there? Seven schedules are there. How many chapters are there? 29 chapters are there. Okay. For old syllabus, from chapter number 8, it starts. For new syllabus, you don't have three chapters. 8, 9, 10, you don't have. From 11, you have. So, we are in which chapter? Chapter number 11 of what? Company chapter 13. Don't read chapter number 11 from our book, sir. No work, sir. The foreign company no work, sir. Okay. Chapter number 11 of the company act we are having. Okay. So, dividend is chapter number 8. Administration and management is chapter number 7, which is that annual general meeting, ordinary resolution, special resolution, minutes, etc. Now, schedule we have 7. Yesterday I told you, that is last class I told you about schedule number 7. What is that? What is schedule 7? 135. You class. not List of activities. Okay, short yes, CSR. Hey, you should not forget, ra. You should remember. Whether it is there for your exam or not, you should remember, stupid fellows. So schedule seven is CSR. What is schedule one? That day I was selling regulation number 89 of schedule one. Upon a schedule one. Model, articles and memorandum. We have 5 MOA model and we have 5 AOA model. That's called table. Table A, B, C, D, E is called MOA. F, G, H, I, J is called AOA. And we are more concerned about F table. That is AOA table. And the points there is called as regulation. So regulation number 89 of table F of schedule 1 we are talking about that day. Inspection. Regulation number 80 of table F of schedule 1 is dividend which says the dividend cannot be increased by the shareholder at any point of time which is why some authors used to interpret and write dividend can be decreased but we study dividend cannot be modified because it's a resolution you can say yes or no understood then so this is first table second table sorry second schedule depreciation third schedule format of financial statement fourth schedule Bold. No one will answer this. Okay, let us keep it aside. Fifth schedule, you should know. You should know. It's already read. You already know this. Remuneration. Schedule 5, remuneration. You have this in your IPCC. Accounts la remuneration chapter. Ruko. Remuneration is schedule 5. Schedule 6, you don't know. Okay. So, schedule 4 and schedule 6, we should know. Schedule 4 is nothing but independent director schedule. Schedule 6 is infrastructure company schedule. L and T kind of companies. This company, this schedule is applicable. Schedule 4 is for independent directors. So if there is a vacancy in independent director within what time you should fill, etc., is there in the schedule. They will have a separate meeting. Independent directors alone they will form a meeting they will have between themselves. Now, 151, small shareholders director. This section is applicable only for a listed company. This section is applicable for a listed company. And that too, it is not mandatory. I will tell you. Who is a small shareholder? See, it is not necessary the listed company will have only big, big people as shareholder. Normal public, we are also shareholder. Your father would have invested, my father would have invested, like 20,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, he would have invested. So, if any person who has invested in the company, face value less than 20,000 rupees, he is called short shareholder. He is called what? Small shareholders. In SEBI, we will study retail individual investor. The person who has invested less than rupees 2 lakhs is called RII. Please do not confuse with small shareholder and retail individual investors. Because they too have totally different rules and regulations. First we will understand only small shareholders. Any person who is having face value less than 
or equal to 20,000 rupees face value in a listed company is called small shareholder. I am a small shareholder. Now, if you have 1,000 small shareholder in your company, if you have how much? 1,000 small shareholder in a company. One tenth or 1,000, whichever is less in numbers, if they write a letter to the board of director, notice is given to safeguard them from the worst decision of the board. They want one person for on their behalf to be in the board. That person is called small shareholder director. The Bahubali to safeguard the small shareholders. The small shareholder director should be independent director. The small shareholder director should be independent director. So you should have all the qualities of the independent director. But small shareholder director can maximum be only three years. Means like only he can hold a position for three years. Unlike the independent director. He cannot be reappointed at all. He cannot be reappointed at all. Once three years over. That means he is independent of the independent. Because if he is keep on there, then he may be influenced. So, chartered independent. Independently a best independent. So, a small shareholder director can be maximum appointed for a period of? Three years. So, the board of directors will appoint him. But he should be an independent person. He can be maximum. He cannot be even reappointed. Sir, I am small shareholder director in this company. Very good small shareholder director. Director, na, no? Okay. I am a very good small shareholder director. By seeing this, another company, another listed company, their shareholder also asked me, okay, I can be small shareholder daughter of that company also. One SSD can be SSD in two companies at the same time. But these two companies should not be competing with each other. Because there may be transaction of business secrets by this person. So he should not be there. SSD can be SSD in two companies. These two companies should not be competing each other. Now what is the rules? How you can be with a different industry. Okay. So what is the uh, what you should write? SSD is applicable for listed company where they have how much oh, no, no. what is small shareholder I am not asking thousand small shareholders no, no, no. thousand small shareholders they should have when it is need to be appointed if thousand or one tenth for example the reliance company have 40,000 small shareholders now tell me how many shareholder, small shareholder shareholders have to write the notice? 40,000, one tenth is how much? <coughs> or 1,000, whichever is less. Okay, so 1,000 or one tenth, whichever is less in numbers, have to write a notice, have to give a notice to the board of directors. Then the board shall appoint one person as small shareholder director who should be qualified to be a independent director. He should be qualified to be an independent director. And how many SSD position he can hold at a time? Two. Two. Now, first you should understand, can independent director of the holding company, can he be independent director of subsidiary company? Independent director of the holding company, can he be independent director of the subsidiary company? 
as per LODR. As per? LODR. It is mandatorily the holding company independent director, at least one person should be subsidiary company's independent director. Since because I am a director and the holding company, it is not necessary that I am influenced. How you are telling I am, I am an independent director, da? I don't have any relationship with the company. Just I am an independent director in the holding company, I am an independent director in subsidiary company. You should, at least one common independent director should be there. Okay. Now, coming to your question. Sir, can SSD be SSD in a group company, she is asking. Whether the group company is in the same industry, if it is competing, if it is not, then no. If it is no, then yes. If it is not competing, then it can be. Then he cannot be. If it is competing, it cannot be. Okay. Okay. Simple logic. All of that. No problem. If it is like competing, the problem. Sir, I am a manufacturer. They are my seller. My subsidiary company is my seller. No problem. It's not competing. If they are also manufacturing the same product, then it is a problem. I will tell you, there are companies which are acquiring other companies. And they keep them as subsidiary. The pro why they are acquiring? Because they are also having a brand. I am also having a brand. I don't want to kill that brand. Let them also continue. Let me also continue. Because people think that they are buying different brand and people think they are competitors. The problem is both are owned by the same person. Correct? For example, you may be using one soap. She may be using another soap. You say that your soap is only good soap, her soap is bad soap. She says your soap is only good soap, your soap is bad soap. Problem is, you people are competing for the brand. But ultimately, both the soap are sold by HUL. Correct? Is the problem. See, whatever product you say, he is the owner. Shampoo. Ni owned ma? Ella me owned Ultimate. So, only the competitor will be PNG and HUL. So, HUL Kula, there may be so many group companies. Okay, but they are competing each other. So, you should not be. Huh? Like that, I am just saying. Example down. Next. So, whether the uh, small shadow data can be reappointed after three years, after the cooling period? No. no. Even after the cooling period, it cannot be. Now, independent director, after the cooling period, he can be reappointed. Correct? If you are reappointing independent director, they should pass special resolution for the reappointment. And there should be explanatory statement. See, please understand, he is appointed for a period of, say, 3 years or 4 years or 5 years. Second tenure, he is reappointed, no? He has to be appointed by passing only special resolution and giving justification statement. This is called reappointment. And cooling period is over. Now, if you are appointing the same person, it is called appointment. It is not called as reappointment. After the cooling period, if he has come back, that is called appointment. It is not called as reappointment. But after the first tenure of, say, 3 years or 4 years or 5 years, he is getting reappointed. That is called reappointed. Okay. For that reappointment, special resolution is necessary. And you should give justification statement in your board report. But the small shared data cannot be like that. A small shared data cannot be reappointed or cannot be appointed after the cooling period. Next. Wherever there is a fixed tenure we are studying, that's called non-rotational director. We are studying independent director this much tenure, small shareholder this much tenure. These people are called non-rotational director because they have a fixed tenure. Okay? Next.
152 now we should again put a flow chart index synopsis like what we did in 149 same way you should do in 152 you have to put 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 see I will tell you don't put everything in a same length or same width put one short and one long again one short and one long so that your width will be extended so or a small down or a mark or a big down or a mark 152 1 first director 152 2 subsequent director 152 3 mandatory din 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 152 4 Declaration from the director. See, we studied when we studying auditor. We studied the auditor should give one declaration, right? That he is not disqualified within ceiling limit, ICI, uh, NCLT, those things. Then, consent. One to do five. Consent. Consent. Concern means what? I am ready to become your director. 6. Rotation. 7. Reappointment. Or 7 you can say automatic reappointment. Reappointment bracket automatic. 6 you can say rotation plus reappointment. Rotation plus reappointment. 6. And automatic reappointment 7. Understood? Now, 152, 1. <laughs> 152, 1 says, the first director should be named in the Articles of Association. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. So, mostly in your articles of version of your company, you can see the first director's name. Sometimes, if they fail, the memorandum subscribers, they will become deemed first director. But there is a problem. As per section 149.1, who can become director? Only? See? Individual. Memorandum order subscriber can also be body corporate. So, memorandum subscriber only if it is a individual, he can be appointed as a first director. If articles does not mention the first director name, memorandum subscriber is also body corporate, then member should call for a general meeting. EGM la they can appoint first director of the company. So first director, come on tell me one named in articles, two subscriber to the memorandum if they are individuals, three if they are not individuals, then shareholders of the members Okay, right. Don't write under the flowchart. Means like normally you write. Synopsis is over. If you keep on writing, you can write. Then how many lines you have to write? First data should be named in articles.
if not subscribers of memorandum if they are individuals if not conduct egm and appoint subscriber of the memorandum means the person who signed in the last page of the memorandum that he will take the minimum number of shares the enna da i brilliant out kekra have you seen a memorandum company audit patrikya da okay you should see a memorandum you should ask your boss sir please show me one memorandum okay i am a ca student tomorrow a company will ask me to draft a memorandum i should know i should see how a memorandum will look how many clauses are there in memorandum six clauses if it is a opc seven clause other than opc six clause first clause name second clause situation third clause object fourth clause liability fifth class capital sixth class subscription you see any memorandum india la if this is how it will be and this is what the number it is you cannot change the order see it's not like examination la you can write six points agm 1 2 3 4 it should be 1 2 3 4 what option dividend directors auditors this is how the order is okay if it comes to memorandum this is how the order is this is not mucking up why a b c d should be a b c d why d c b a illa this is how it is this slot okay so or order iruk and they have a sequence you have to follow the sequence Hmm? Don't question why a section should be here. Why not? It should be before. They f- they understood that this is how the sequence should be. The sequence should be. See, you can ask question and get it clarified. Don't carry this point in your brain. It means like, sir, I don't know that. Also, don't feel like that because not everyone got exposures. <coughs> some people are very good at individual taxation some people are very good at corporate taxation if you ask me i am very good at corporate tax i am very good at corporate audit if you ask me to do audit of trust i am bold if you ask me to do cooperative clean bold okay if you ask me to do nri individual taxation lbw If you ask me to do transfer pricing, out. So I am good at certain things: central statutory audit of bank, insurance company audit. Mary, I have seen only big big audits and corporate taxation. I have never seen individual taxation when I am doing audit. And the time, another three years le. and i did approximately 65 company audit 65 different company in my article sip and 45 companies or more than that when i am a audit manager in the same firm approximately more than 110 variety of companies i have audited which includes insurance company bank company that to central statutory not the branch audit which you do it like one week or so we used to stay 65 days in delhi for consolidation adala a15 la da we will all say bye bye i will not come in this normal a15 e enak varadu you are doing in like full consolidation of a15 if you put f2 it will run into or oru molathuk if it put formula or cell oda formula bank consolidation la and that too it is not cbs in 2010 it is not fully cbs we used to get this kind of paper ivlo perusirukom oru oru balance sheet um they used to write it manually 
and they will be feeding it in excel we will be consolidating everything after consolidating in zone it is region after region it will come to head office head office having 45 divisions we have to consolidate that and they have subsidiaries also okay after two months or a small error in the file gone case you know my pen drive got corrupted <laughs> Thank God, at least one day before we had a Gmail, we had one copy. But there is some changes. One of my junior tracked that in his audit notebook. Boss, here you are making a change in it. Thank God, we, he told that. Otherwise, that is Punjab National Bank. <laughs> so, we had audited insurance company like Royal Sundram, Star Health, Allied. Okay. I have audited Steel Authority of India Limited, BSNL. I told BSNL, at least for next 4 years you will be in losses. From 5th year you can start making profit if you are not doing a mistake. What mistake? Whenever a person is getting retired, don't replace. 60% of the turnover is employee cost. And a company is technologically based company. If a company is technology based company, their employee cost should be minimal. Turnover la 60% employee cash na, administration cash na go. They cannot make profit because even after their resignation, they have to pay him pension. A person who got appointed before 1995, BSN have to directly pay pension. This big. And whenever there is a pay commission, there will be increase of pension. You know, driver salary in BSNL. A person who worked for 17 years as a driver is drawing 46,000 rupees as salary. And his time is 9.30 to 5.30. He had three apartments. And he says if he retired, he will get at least 25,000 rupees as pension. He is a driver. Hmm? I was like shocked. <laughs> so, this organization will be in loss only. This may be a key point for a government to make it private or like disinvest from the government company. If they want to disinvest, first they will make loss. Then it will go to capitalist. That loss is artificial loss. One person the work can be done by a single person. There will be three person. And I have seen a company which is having the same kind of and it is internationally number one company. That's called Chevron. Oil company. Chevron is sold to our company. That they had the same policy. Each person's work, if it can be done by a single person, there will be three person. And they say safety. This company has run into losses. They closed the business in India. LPG business they had in India previously, they closed it. And they sold it to some other company. Which is, uh, I think, Netherland based company they sold. It. But India based company ki, it can never be a profitable if they, have, if they have so many employees like BSNL. So, <clears throat> I have seen every type of company. You name an uh, industry, say hotel, I have audited hotel. Okay, you, you name, uh, I have even audited the aviation industry, which was in loss and they closed the business. But most of the companies which I have audited closed the business. <laughs> <laughs> But no, from every company I learned something. Even I am working in or I am a consultant for 28 companies presently. Out of 28 companies, 3 companies are almost in the closing stage. <coughs> and uh, one company already went for Surfasi. One company went for IBC. Okay. And uh, there are some dormant companies, there are some small companies. There are very big companies. There are IFRS companies. So, whereby I am learning day by day 
I am telling you, I mean, see, this kind of exposure in articleship and in life may not be there for everyone. Okay, sir, my firm stipend is only, when I was article, 8 years back, my stipend is 1000 rupees. Today, my firm stipend, if somebody, I mean, Joseph or not, 2500 rupees. In Nico. Okay. But they had, they have 165 company audit. Extraordinary exposure will be there. But stipend could come out. And after giving 1000 rupees stipend on 7th of every month, my partner used to ask, Stipend credit I cha? That account is open, that's all. I never even been to that account. My conveyance is 4000 that time. My conveyance is 4000. I used to bill the client. Okay. So I, whatever I want, I can buy it from the conveyance. That account, I have never opened, means I have never went to that bank itself. Indian Bank, Mailapur Indian Bank, my account. After articleship only, I even been to that bank to update my passbook. They told I cannot update you. In the three years calls you okay? Uh, three years once you want to update, uh, you cannot update your passbook, they told. Then I did uh, internet banking application, then I downloaded it. So they told, we cannot, because you never been to bank. Every month stipend, but I will, uh, sometimes no, we can take money from ATM, etc. We withdraw some money for investing in shares. Okay, or 10,000 rupees, if you withdraw money, na shares will put in your work. So, that's the bank point. Bank ka even not went. Because the siphon is so low, but the exposure is so high. So, you people may not have the same exposure like what I had. You know, how I become a teacher? I started telling all this like how to do audit etc to my juniors when I became an audit manager in the same company after my after I pass C because I want to practice okay I want to practice India lay number one charter content down on an asa okay I one point of time okay <laughs> long long ago so long ago a young blood no it will like work work 18 hours I used to work I 18 hours I never sleep I will take the uh, laptop to my home I will work maximum four to five hours only sleep Article assistant used to cry because up to one o'clock I work. Okay, and after going to room also we will work. And again we will be there at 8.30 or 9 in the office. I say, hey, you are so good. And I, I didn't find my kind of person in office. And when I study, I study for 17 hours. Okay, August 15th, on Independence Day, they gave me leave for November examination. And I passed my IPCC, that is your PCC, in August 4th of 2010. And I completed my CA final in November 11. I took 9 months for my CA final. From my IPCC and CA final, for example, late passing your IPCC and early attempt of your CA final. Your people will be there, no, second group, they will pass late. Okay, and they will write final immediately. Some people wrote exam of second group now and they are attending class here. They will not tell outside. Okay, I have not yet passed IPCC, no? they will not tell. Some people are like that. And after attending CA final classes, they will get the result, they will say, Are you IPC second group failed? They already completed three subjects of CA final. There are people like that. But I have not failed my IPCC, my attempt is like that. Okay, at that point of time, we have to complete 18 months articles to write IPCC. Okay, like a direct entry, you have 9 months, no, we have 15 months plus 3 months, 18 months. So, my IPCC result came in August 2010 and I have written my examination in November 2011. And after the result of IPCC, obviously, merry go round. Okay, so 3 months over. December month only, I touched my book. I didn't get anything, so I joined a class. Okay, I first touched SFM book. Stocks, shares now. Hey. <laughs> after that, I joined the class. Like two days after the class started, I joined the class. Then the class went. I slept. Class part of the Daily morning, I will go. Then I will sleep. That uh, faculty's voice is so good. It's like a mother, no? Bull spread. Condor spread. 
நான் இங்கு பாட ஓகே சார் பட் ஐ வில் ரைட் நோட்ஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் நோ மை நோட்ஸ் வில் பி லைக் இப்படி போகும் then i learned like no as yes, we have to do self study i asked my partner sir four subjects only i went for classes now it's already july month at least i should go for some crash course because i didn't know anything he told no independence day independence for you okay and june quarter he sent me for the audit adu mudike i first completed the bank audit for the quarter after coming down psc audit for that quarter because we have limited review okay 2410 audit we should do okay and the audit report we sari audit so <coughs> august 15th he relieved me for november month examination so 74 days leave i got three subject i have not even touched four subject class went to one subject crash course three subject self study onnume puriyala iska auditing law auditing i went for three days crash course okay law self study iska self study idt crash course okay you know law i got good marks iska i got very good marks because these two subject i went self study costing sfm four and a half months class just pass dt 80 so it's not about the class it's about how you understand the subject whether you have a liking towards the subject okay and how you present yourself any person who have seen my dt paper it it will like this wow because every answer i will have a case law every note i will have a case law working note number 1 case law working number 2 number case law wherever case law is possible i will write case law because in my article ship there are so many case laws which i have seen practically so somebody who is there in corporate tax session you should know the case laws okay international tax session na asadi bachavan anolens case kulandagan chettiyar's case i still remember this case laws this i studied in 2010 okay japanese airlines case law for the tds 195 there is one landing or tds irukum idea case law vodafone case law you have to there is no other go ca final na abbi da and 22 students in my office wrote the examination only one cleared the examination and next attempt with ipcc 29 student wrote the examination only two cleared the examination and baki people i don't know what they are doing whether they pass ca or not also i don't know maybe five people would have passed ca out of 30 or 40 the sau in your form also your form also as a story your senior also have a told story not all your senior or passed their examination you should not be like that start your preparation well in advance don't think that i don't know never it is late eppo enak doubt undalo sir basic doubt sir how many subscribers in public limited company i don't know sir and the level ka i am weak in law that is why you are here don't hesitate to ask any doubt sir i cannot ask doubt in class and all i am not that kind of person if i ask doubt people will laugh Double nine four zero five one two triple eight. My number is there in book also. WhatsApp me. Any time you can WhatsApp. Okay. After within few minutes, if it is day time, if it is night na next day, I will reply. Sometimes I will reply with angry symbol. Don't take it very personally, because it irritated me. <laughs> so yes, ultimately you got the answer. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask the next doubt. even if you get double angry symbol <laughs> because i don't want to take law as a normal class you should love reading the act after attending income tax class i don't know how many of you even touch the bar act and learnt it my student should not feel tough to read the companies act bar act if you touch the company sack barak section by section by section you should tell and you should interpret with one section with another section my people should become walking dictionary at one point of time i'll bet maybe in the mid december or late december you will all become walking dictionary you will not touch the barak but you will tell the barak and people like google they will use you hey pucha inga va section 164 sollu 
like a Google, you will be used. I am telling you, this will happen because it is not the first time I am doing. This is almost like 60th time I am doing this. Okay, I have taken already 60 batches I have taken and 6 is successful batches. Okay, and I have success rate of more than 75 percentage. That means if 100 people attend the class, 75 percentage will pass. And I have All India 18th rank last term, May 18, All India 18th rank is my student. But you would have seen All India 18th rank is some other academy. That academy never launched their final classes at all. But they put, they have money, they can put whatever. India LA first rank put a young student put a who, who asked for statistics? Okay, and denominator no one will disclose, only numerator they will disclose. 15 pass now, 15 is a numerator. What is the denominator? Okay, 500, 600 will be there. Okay, so <coughs> why we should advertise? It's not necessary. Advertisement is not necessary. If people want to tell, they will tell. I am that kind of person. This is my five year of fifth year of my teaching, four plus year of teaching. I still have only 35 students maximum. Okay, maybe in crash course it will come to approximately 80, 85. That's all. But there are teachers in the first year itself they touched 200. Okay, what is the result? If 200 after 200 is passing, that's different. But out of 200, only 25 is passing. I don't want, I am concerned about that people who are failing. Because the people who are passing 25, no, they will pass on their own. I am, I don't want to concentrate on that people. I have to concentrate on those people who may fail, who may fail. So there may be average students sitting here, sir, IPCC at 3 atoms, sir. There are people sitting here with IPCC 3 atoms. Final, at least in this subject, you should not go for an attempt. Because of this subject, you should see any subject can become difficult. It's not like law is easy, auditing is easy. People failed in auditing miserably in last two attempts. People failed in last attempt, last before attempt, people failed in law miserably. This attempt, people will get extraordinary mark in law. I will tell you, this attempt, November 18, they will get extraordinary mark compared to last two attempts. This attempt, they will fail maybe in direct tax. So, over attempt, there may be different. For your attempt, who knows what subject will become difficult. Three attempts back, SFM is so difficult. You cannot touch a sum paper. Kurthra on the end of the path, eighty in a brother, which why you wasting paper, why you wasting time. <laughs> so, but I will tell you failure and passing is only a journey. Okay, if you fail, that means you are taking extra time to finish your journey. That's all. Failure is and passing, I am not concerned about that. I am concerned about after passing, what will happen? Or even if you fail repeatedly, somewhere you should get job, right? Somewhere you should go and sit, right? Apo, they will ask you what field you are interested to work. Because not all students can finish CA. This is truth. Not 100% can finish CA. Anyone who joins CA cannot complete 100%. There are some probability only to complete CA. One subject you will pass, one subject you will fail. You may pass all subjects, may not get aggregate. Okay, and after repeated attempts, something may happen. It is pressure that you should work, etc. I have seen many people in my life who didn't complete CA, but who was drawing salary equivalent to a CA. So, knowledge is very important than just a qualification. Qualification is also important. But without knowledge, if you have qualification, you cannot survive in your life. So, knowledge is equally important. This qualification is just an entry ticket, I am just telling you. This I have seen many MBA, MBA, MCOM is governing the company itself and drawing 25 lakh salary. MCOM, MBA, 25 lakh salary. He is not a charter accountant. He is drawing two times more than charter accountant. So it is possible because he is having that knowledge. He may be, he tried CA, he could have not passed CA, etc. But he is having that courage and knowledge that I know. Inferiority complex you should never have in your life. I am telling you, inferiority complex if you have that will kill you. Oh, yo, I didn't pass. Oh, yo, I am I am failure. Cha, tuki pod. Okay, inferiority complex if you have it will kill you. Don't think any time negative. Negative or think ke panada. What is negative thinking? Oh, yo, I can't. See, if I fail, what I should do? Adi okay, no problem. Because every time you should think two times. If I fail, what I have to do? If I pass, what I have to do? If I can, if, if, if I can, what I do, if I cannot, what I have to do. Other than the two, okay, no problem. 
பட் ஐயோ ஐ கே நாட் எனக்கு காஸ்டிங் வரவே வராது ஐ வில் நெவர் பாஸ் இன் காஸ்டிங் தட்ஸ் வாட் மை பிலீஃப் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் வெரி ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் பாஸ்ட் இன் காஸ்டிங் ஓகே மை பிலீஃப் இஸ் ஐ நோ டேரக்ட் ஆக்ஸ் ஐ எம் த கிங் ஆஃப் டேரக்ட் ஆக்ஸ் கொம்பு ஓகே ஐ காட் ஐடி ஐ திங்க் லைக் ஐ நோ லா no one can touch me in law that confidence garbo superiority complex i got very good mark in law if people say iska is difficult i told what is this a stupid fellow say inna na ithrundu book 180 pages is the book the practice manual which you have in iska old syllabus ithrundu dam thundu ivlo dam book idu or book ha idla fail chai adinte adu achcha I made my own book for ISCA when I am writing my ISCA. People failed in ISCA. I got 65 in ISCA. This is not a subject. See, why? Because somebody told costing is difficult to me. Somewhere inside my brain is control, yes. And I cannot do shift to delete. <laughs> Still now, I didn't write my group 2 of CS. Final, professional. There are two groups in CS. first group i got 70 65 65 third group i got 70 70 60 okay second group i didn't even write for past 3 years because it is having sf one <laughs> and ak s krishnan is very good at valuation in his organization valuation na ak s krishnan da in my organization okay but sf one na bhayo if i heard the word sfm ayyo <laughs> in 2019 itself so 2016 uh, itself so 16 itself i guess i handled approximately 350 crores portfolio but sfm na enak bayam varu see some people law na bayam varu enak sfm costing la sonna allergy i will run capital budgeting if i some 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 say no whether to buy or make and the problem on the bold but today i am taking a decision also whether to buy whether to invest or not irr is there or not i am taking investment decisions but if it comes to examination of sfm i am i am bold i will not write that and the mari see i i am telling you because i am having that adu mudicha enoda salary illu 5 lakhs per annum increase aidum பட் பயம் வேதநாயகம் என்றால் பயம் ஒன்று பயம் சி ஐ ஸ்டில் லைக் நோ ஐ கேனாட் கம் அவுட் ஆஃப் தட் ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் எனி ஆஃப் யூ டு ஹாவ் எனி கைண்ட் ஆஃப் நெகட்டிவ் ஃபியர் ஆர் நெகட்டிவ் மைண்ட் செட் லைக் திஸ் ஓகே வாட் இஸ் த டைம் எயிட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஓகே ஸோ வி ஆர் இன் சப்செக்ஷன் ஒன் வி கம்ப்ளீட் தட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சப்செக்ஷன் டூ ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ டூ one to do two subsequent directors that means all the directors have to be appointed in general meeting by passing ordinary resolution ordinary resolution general meeting so shareholders will be appointing 1 to 3 din to become director you should hold one number called din, din number director identification number see in future the din number what you are having for your director may change government may link it with some other number you know which number they will link in future no i am not telling <laughs> ultimately every citizen of india will have one number da that number will be linked with your phone number which is known to everyone okay if i have database of that if i touch okay i will tell you there is one company called capita world platform which is having approximately 1 and 1/2 lakh people's database which they got in just 
वन मंथ टाइम नॉट इवन वन मंथ ट्वेंटी डेज टाइम इन जस्ट ट्वेंटी डेज टाइम दे गॉट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली वन एंड हाफ लैक पीपल्स डेटा बेस वन एंड हाफ लैक पीपल इज नॉट लाइक यू एंड मी दे आर बिजनेस मैन एंड दे आर एम एस एम ई स्मॉल एंड मीडियम स्केल बिजनेस मैन दे वॉन्ट टू गेट लोन फ्रॉम दी बैंक दे वॉन्ट टू गेट लोन फ्रॉम दी बैंक एवरी वन इफ यू से लोन दे वी लाइक ईगर नो वन वॉन्ट टू पुट देर ओन मनी दे वॉन्ट टू टेक बिकॉज देर आर प्राइवेट फाइनेंस एक्चुअली पैरल प्राइवेट फाइनेंस इज देर विच इज लाइक थर्टी सिक्स परसेंज इंटरेस्ट एंड बैंक शुड गिव लेवन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट इंटरेस्ट सो एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू गेट दिस लोन एंड दिस कंपनी इज ऑथराइज बै द गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया to handle this and they claimed to have they claimed to have artificial intelligence and they claim to do algorithms based on the income tax filings and gst filings these people have done so gst filing and income tax filing this company is clubbing and you should give income tax password and income tax user id and you should give gst password and user id they will get the idrs within a fraction of a second and they will put it in their uh, program and they will tell you this is how this is maximum loan which from the bank you can get can you able to understand they are having access to sensitive information of a entrepreneur and it is a private limited company and 2016 turnover is 15600 rupees And 2019 turnover will be at least thousand crores. <gasps> at least fifty five percent is profit. Why? Because there are going to be fifteen lakh people. They are expecting to access this website that is called fifty nine minute loan website. Modi's Diwali gift to MSME entrepreneurs. do it do it there are there are small small entrepreneurs coming to you and in the office and say madam and msme loan edo or kame you know something this is called in principle approval if you take this paper and go to bank they will ask collateral security hey security in the i could have directly come to you no i don't have security more told unsecured loan no hey unsecured loan na illa loan sanction loan sanction illa in principle approval that means this website will collect all your details from various government websites and tell the bank this person ki you can give up to this much loan for this uh, no problem sir so sharing sensitive information only no not issue 1180 that is 1000 rupees plus 18 percentage gst they are collecting for every applicant this is not processing fees please understand processing fees is 0.35 percentage of the total loan which you will get sanctioned tomorrow bank sanction loan of say 1 lakh 0.3 percentage this person will get adhi evlo irukum because government plan to give at least 5 lakh crore as loan through these people so approximately 0.35 percentage of 5 lakh crore this will come here as processing fees and in principle approval letter generate pandrom la abadina you are using their software to to know how much loan you can get onnu illa if you tell your banker last 2 years itr if you give based on that he will give like this he will tell you how much loan you are eligible for correct ah because every banker what he is doing 2 3 years itr is asking immediately he is having one software he is putting that and he is saying that sir you are eligible for this much of loan only basically 40 percentage of your salary into 100 times is a loan amount monthly salary into 40 percentage into 100 times is the loan amount this is what they will do okay which you will be repaying for next 20 years this is what the calculation idu podradhukku 1180 rupees kudukrom idu ethen poi bank la kodta bank will say give me collateral avladha you will not give collateral 1180 illa last avladha over and this 1180 how many people have already paid 150000 calculate panna 150000 into 1180 already turn over is up from 6th of november sir okay sir this company is very good company ah huh? question mark and ah uh, 16500 rupees is the turn over 3 years back 2 years back company itself add only 3 years from the incorporation first year loss paid up capital ah huh? paid up capital 1 lakh rupees 
இது ஒரு கம்பெனி ஓகே நவ் யூ வில் ஆல் வுட் ஹவ் கெஸ் திஸ் கம்பெனி இஸ் இன் இன்கார்பரேட்டட் இன் விச் ஸ்டேட் அவ்வளோதான் ஓவர் சிச்சோ எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டேரக்டர்ஸ் எல்லாம் யங் பாய்ஸ் லைக் மீ த்ரீ ஃபோர் மந்த்ஸ் பிஃபோர் சிட்பி ஹாஸ் இன்வெஸ்டட் இன் திஸ் கம்பெனி டுவெண்ட்டி க்ரோர்ஸ் சிட்பி கவர்மெண்ட் பேங்க் தே இன்வெஸ்ட் இன் திஸ் கம்பெனி டுவெண்ட்டி க்ரோர்ஸ் பட் ஸ்டில் ஐ ஒண்டர் என்ன டிசிஎஸ் இருக்கு இன்ஃபோசிஸ் இருக்கு தே ஆர் வெரி குட் அட் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் மிஷின் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் தே ஆர் ஆல்ரெடி ஹேண்ட்லிங் டேட்டாஸ் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஓகே செக்யூரிட்டி லெவல் என்ன நடக்குதுங்கன்னே புரிய மாட்டேங்குது அண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ கம்பெனி and all this database is available in the website go to zuba.com uh, or m- mca.go.in pay 100 rupees you can take the history geography physics chemistry of this company public documents pay 100 rupees you can get everything all the over this company will be blowed out i am telling you this will be congress weapon in 2019 election like 2g scam they will put this already rafael deal scam see whether it's a scamsters or i don't know but at least a talk is against modi correct like that you people should investigate so many i'm telling you in future ias examination will not be like a coaching center like what they are having today there is a company called mb where reliance has invested 10000 crores how much one small company they invested 10000 crores IAS coaching, NEET coaching and all, this company only will be future. If you want to become doctor, you should have NB app in your phone. And Jio will support this. And Jio has invested already 3.5 lakh crores. And they started making break even from last year. I'm going to say, why did you record this? I'm going to say, why did you record this? They are already breaking even. Next year, they think they can... make profit and 2022 they will go for public issue okay and generally when we bring in capital we will not bring in capital at face value we will bring at premium because your capital base will come so much then you will be noticed you have to pay so much money to authorize the capital increase of fees etc etc Reliance company has invested at face value. Reliance Industries has invested in Reliance Geo at face value. 3,000,000 3, crores have invested in face value. Invest Because they can recover this money only if the shares are sold at premium. Once you go for public issue, there is something called offer for sale. Offer for sale is nothing but promoters liquidating their shares. see now whenever the government company is getting liquidated you can find a word called offer for sale offer for sale means not the company is issuing the share one rupee what you pay also will not go to the company so it's not whenever ipo is coming it's not like whatever money you invested it will go to the company you will get the share that's all from whom from the promoters who is already acquiring the shares so tomorrow this company will go to public issue at premium say 10 rupees share 100 rupees premium under should promoter that is reliance industry will liquidate their share they are now having 100% share much go they will liquidate their share and they will have still controlling interest 65% they will hold so even if you have share you cannot go against them and the share is diversified so not everyone will come to the meeting at all so meeting la there will be only 50 25% of the shareholder coming for the meeting so 35% is 25% come for the meeting appo reliance will have 75% stake in that meeting so even special resolution he can pass on his own this is how the big big companies are running we should understand this because tomorrow you will be cfo 7 years 8 years down the line you i am i am saying at least 8 cfos here okay appo cfo ana investment decisions 
because you cannot be like this always you have to grow you have to go for public issue you have to collect the public money you know something paytm is running in loss every quarter 600 crores is a loss hello 600 crores is a loss phone pay go to hp petrol bank put 100 rupees petrol using your phone pay 70 rupees is a refund given to you 100 rupees petrol 70 rupees refund so what is your cost of petrol per 100 rupees 30 rupees put one more time 35 rupees is refund for you put one more time 35 35 35, 35. next to 10 times 35 rupees refund i will tell you paytm is now funded by soft bank now software is go soft bank is going for a public issue world's largest public issue you cannot imagine how many lakh crores they are going to somewhere around 20 lakh crores i guess hello somewhere around 20 I, I, I forgot the exact number they are going to take it from a public international app paytm phone pay money they are they are going to invest flipkart Snapdeal, they will invest ola uber they will invest okay and you people artificial intelligence will start controlling you after some time if you want to see for example i will tell you government policy they will change maybe in next two years buying a car will become difficult or you have to pay so much of insurance car monthly other yearly key at least one third of the car price you will be paying insurance you will stop thinking of buying a car uber mandatory ola mandatory both the companies will be owned by this company that's what the future will be all the physical shops will be closed slower there will be only five six companies online two companies three companies maximum think just think how they are giving so much of offer if you buy in flipkart go to flipkart today you can buy 600 rupees of groceries say tur dal mung dal and the dal in the dal you buy 250 rupees of sunrich oil adu idu they are giving free the margin on 600 rupees is maximum say 50 rupees but they are giving 250 rupees to you back so they are not reducing their margins profit and loss kada the loss literally loss because 8000 crore has been invested by marmart in flipkart so they first want to increase their customer base every phone should have paytm every phone should have phone pay every phone should have ola every phone should have uber every phone should have amazon and every phone should have flipkart you did the rule this is all corporates so the, you should understand the corporates you should understand share capital you should understand holding company how the investment will be you should draft investment decisions why preference share why debentures so you should tell sir if you invest in debentures you can take the money out of the company without paying 30 percentage tax to the government because deb debenture is a interest based debt instrument above the line deductible preference share is dividend below the line so you have to pay 30 percentage tax you have to pay 19 percentage gdt approximately 50 percentage you are losing there so go for below the line sorry above the line so invest via debentures so take profits by way of interest and most of the companies are abroad companies 99 percentage they will invest from the companies which is incorporated in the dta area company may be a china company but they will not invest from china they will form a company in cyprus they will form a company in mauritius from there they will root it through so you are thinking that investment is directly coming from china Chha. dta and the benefit rico, they will incorporate a company their namesake paper company will be incorporated in that country and they will root it through that that's how this uh, vodafone case law from mauritius companies in netherland ma companies in netherland owners in netherland they will start a paper company in mauritius okay and you know the paper companies are generally owned by big force the paper company address if you type in google it will tell you pwc cypress eny cypress there are six or seven companies like this who is doing consultancy services they are lending their firm's address for so many paper companies over a address that 2000 companies will be registered 
and it will be routed through this. So for this, you should know Companies Act, should know Income Tax Act. Can a base of a company shifted from one country to another country? Can a base of a country, in the case of a company, for example, I, in, I incorporated in Mauritius, treaty with Mauritius got over, can I shift it to Cyprus, the base itself? In my questions, I shifted from Cyprus to Luxembourg, like this. My company base itself shifted. Because nowhere in the act they told city, state, jurisdiction, all that. Country. I shifted from Cyprus to Luxembourg. I incorporated a company, same name. You know, Luxembourg like company incorporation is only one page. Go to a notary, a postal, get it affixed, all the company incorporated. You know, the Luxembourg like company. And we have a treaty with Luxembourg. So you should know treaty shopping. Income tax like yeah, from what the first thing is bankers had a shape on them, that's how the money will go from India. 15 CA, 15 CB. Our auditor doesn't even know what is Luxembourg and what is this treaty. Treaty in a particular page. Okay, article number 9, article number 19, you should read together. So the knowledge base is another pay. See why they should pay you 7 lakh rupees salary and why they should pay you 17 lakh rupees salary. You can be in both slab. If you want to be in this slab, oh, Sharia Bank, I am now learning Sharia Banking. Because uh, UAE, la, they are now going to introduce, already Malaysia, Singapore, la, they introduced, Sri Lanka, la, they introduced Sharia Banking. If Congress government comes, India, la, they will be Sharia Banking. BGH, BJP is against Sharia Banking. That is Muslim way of banking. You know, there is a bank which never charge interest and which they will go loan. Somewhere, ga, bank will give loan but never charge interest. They will recover the money from you as a profit share. It's there in your SFM, you know. <laughs> Sharia Bank. I am learning Sharia Banking practically. Now, I am going to invest in a company which is going to get 25 crores loan in Sharia Banking. I'm, we are incorporating a company in uh, Sri Lanka. We are doing that. Okay. Now, I am studying Sri Lanka, DT, India, DTAA. Singapore, like, there is one dollar company, you know. Send one dollar to Singapore. You can incorporate a company called one dollar. India la Modi says, hey, one dollar kuda one zero capital incorporated company. You know, India la you can incorporate a company with zero capital. But uh, by incorporate, for incorporation you have to spend so much of expenses. <laughs> okay, uh, 153 is DIN. With this we have stopped, okay, today's class.